Let's bring in our guest joining us now, New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer, an enigma wrapped in a riddle, uh, wrapped in a conundrum, <laughs> wrapped in a, uh, and I, I, I can't wait to talk to you. You know I love you. I do. Uh, and I'm from New Jersey. And former CK, and, for, and you're Becky's He's my uh, person. I know. Yeah. And I former Becky. CKE Restaurants uh, CEO Andy Puzder. Uh, who uh, who I, I am very fond of as well. I, I would say love. Uh, I, I love that Western bacon cheeseburger. Um, All right. Uh, anyway, from, from Carl's uh, junior years ago. Anyway, so Josh, yes. I'm trying to figure this out because I think a lot of Democrats have um, Amy Klobuchar's view of this. It's like we have all these really very good people running and we've been doing this for a year already. All of us pounding the pavement, all of us trying to earn the, the trust and respect of, of Democratic voters. And you come in and parachute in now because you're, in your view, none of us are good enough. I think that's, that's not a great message to be sending. Do, do you? Or how do you feel? Well, I don't know, but I think there's a lot of, listen, there's a lot of excellent people in the race. Cory Booker from the great state of New Jersey that's is who in the you're race. Backing, right? Yeah, Cory's terrific. I also believe in I, we, that we, it does not hurt us to bring more ideas into the was an independent, into, into the, if he was an independent candidate, I think it would hurt you. Uh, at this point, right, maybe but he's running as a Democrat. Running as a Democrat, it might not. If he got the nomination, he obviously wouldn't be siphoning it off from from somebody else, I guess. Which is, but in the meantime, he is. I think people are hungry for more ideas in the party. So I think, and I and I think there's a real distaste for class warfare. So I think bringing in more ideas is not a bad but thing. But you would admit that a lot of the energy and excitement is, for lack of a better term, in the AOC, Bernie, Elizabeth Warren wing of the party. So the answer is a billionaire who uses money to buy influence. That's that's what they're running against: is money buying influence in the in the government and big business buying influence. Listen, I think there are people who have certain ideas who are running for office. You said there's a lot of people running for president. There are people who have certain ideas and there's certain energy there. But I think there's a lot of hunger for people who want somebody who's going to be a uniter and and, and who's going to and who really going to be on, focused on fiscal responsibility. A lot and, of people. Right. A lot of people. Yeah. You right. need 65 million. And how how many of the deplorables, the 63 million, is Bloomberg going to get? And how many of the 65 million Hillary voters are going to be fractured by wanting to be far left? Where the excitement is. So, so where is the? I mean, you're more of a political pundit than me. So uh, I'm telling like you that it's <laughs> going to end badly for him. Andy, what do you think? Hey, look, I think Bloomberg's going to pull votes away from Joe Biden. I don't think that's a good thing for the party. I think it helps the Elizabeth Warren and uh, uh, Bernie Sanders wing of the party. I think he he probably appeals to people that don't want to fall off the far leftist cliff. Uh, I agree with Josh that uh, Americans don't support class warfare, and I, I don't think. Bloomberg brings that class warfare message to the people, so I think that could be helpful to Democrats. I just don't think he gets the nomination, and I think he, he probably hurts the one uh, at least mildly moderate candidate the Democrats currently have, uh, Joe Biden, who could potentially get the nomination. So well, we'll, we'll, but, we'll see what happens, but I think it's, uh, I think it's a gift to uh, Sanders and particularly Warren. I think we need to bring more ideas out there that are more center-based, right, that talk about also uniting. I think this is where Corey is. I think this is where Mike Bloomberg is going to be. Well, saying, like, Corey. Let's, stop right. attack let's stop attacking each other, right? Let's stop, like, deciding who, like, attacking success, which I think is a huge mistake. Let's talk about broader-based opportunity, job training, education. Let's lift, focus on lifting everyone up. Right. And to me, if we had that message out there, we have a much better shot of winning in November, whether that's Corey or Joe or Mike Bloomberg. And it's the ideas, I think, that are going to matter. Well, well, in his view, Biden is so damaged at this point that he decided to step in because he said that all along. I'll only do this. I'll back Biden until I think he can't win. If I, if I think Biden becomes too damaged, then I'll step in. And here he is stepping in. I think we've got a long way to go. And I think there's a lot. Gonna, you see how much changes week to week right now? I think there's we've got a long way to go. It's, it's, you're, it's, you're, I you're believe walking it's a weird game. line because it, it, it would hurt Cory Booker's more moderate candidacy, too. Well, no, I think, again, I think because there's a long road, there's a lot's going to change between now and then. I, you know, I think there's a lot of good people running. And anyone who's deciding this is over is wrong, which is what I think is why Mike got in. It's also why I think so let's Corey say he, is staying in and fighting, because I think the, there's a lot of opportunity. Let's say he decides, OK, I'm, I'm known in, on the East Coast. I'm not that well known everywhere else. I'm, I'm not going to do 30 million. I'm going to do 50 million. Maybe I'll do 100 million because I can. No problem, in fact. That's, that's right. peanuts right. for him. So what's the problem? 
You think that the Elizabeth that doesn't allow them to criticize him? Oh, that, that they said it about Tom Steyer too. He's criticized no matter what, though. Okay, yeah, but he's going to be criticized well, anybody, vehemently. You know, other, go ahead, Andy. He's going to be criticized vehemently. The other vehemently, part of this is: do you, do you honestly think that the Democrat, the, the Democratic base, the base of their party, is looking for an old billionaire white guy to be the candidate of the party to generate the kind of excitement they're going to need? Uh, to remove a sitting president. I, th I think Blo you know, Bloomberg creates real. Now, I have to say, I'm, I'm hoping Elizabeth Warren is the nominee as a Republican. I think she'd be the best for us. So I, I don't want to talk her down. But look, she's so far to the left, she can't win. Does Bloomberg really help this? Does Bloomberg energize the base and create the look, kind I of positive the, feeling in the, the party Andy, that can be the uh, president? I right, though. The great conundrum is that, he, as I've said, on the, I've said a million times, I think he's the most competent, accomplished person around, except for the fact that he doesn't inspire people in the sort of traditional sense of being an orator who can, who can sort of own a room on a stage, right? That, that to me, is, you know, and that the, then becomes the enthusiasm issue. Is it toward me? I I'm mean, you. <laughs> I got it. What do you think? I mean, you, uh, you've well, seen it. You know what a poli... Uh, you know this what is, right, but I actually think, and this is where I'll go back to... People are hungry for good ideas. If you have someone who comes in and says, hey, we're going to make sure we fight to lift everyone up, because, by the way, on the, on the resources issue, yeah. every candidate at the top is going to have the resources. Elizabeth and Bernie have, people, have, right. have resources coming in. This is where it gets back to no what idea, who is going to best run this country? Who's going to bring the country together? Who's going to reinstate salt and get our taxes down in Jersey? Uh, right? Uh, you know what I mean? But, Josh, let me ask you. <laughs> yeah. You yeah that's that's that not going to appeal still... much in the Midwest, that yeah. you're going to reinstate that's salt. That's right. Hey, look, at. Well, it's not only that. You've got, a, you've got a president who is lifting everybody up. We've seen unemployment weighed down. We've seen it down for minority groups. You've got to come in with more than ideas. You've got to come in with some, somebody who's, who will inspire the base of the party to show up on Election Day. And uh, I don't see Mike Plus Bloomberg as being that guy. Swing, you also have to get, you've got your base, that's right, but you also need to get your swing voter out. We're seeing what's happening in the suburbs when, when they're not coming out. It's very, very important that we have somebody who brings the country together. This is the difference, right? Who is going to be able to unite us? And, and everybody is going to say, you're going to feel comfortable saying, that's somebody I'm okay with being president, as well as the Democrats. To me, that's, that's the answer here, and that's our, that's our best way yeah, forward. But where, where is the base of the Democratic Party? Did, did Hillary Clinton oh. really lose because she wasn't progressive? Aggressive enough? What was is that? Is that the lesson? That the I, don't, I don't. I don't think it's a lesson at all. Uh, I mean, but but it seems to me that that seems to be the lesson that a lot of Democratic nominees are taking from the 2016 election. And as someone who grew up in a Democratic household, I, I would argue um, it's very different. You know, John F. John F. Kennedy would not even be remotely considered. It would be considered. You know, what I, what I hear about is what are you going to do to make party. my life more affordable? How are you getting yeah. taxes down? What are you doing to make sure you get my health care costs down? What are you going to fix my roads and bridges? To me, when we have somebody who's talking about those ideas instead of trying to drive the country apart so and hitting class workers. You work don't like what you've heard so far from the leaders of the Democratic Party. In I think just, I think the ones who are leading the list right now, no. And let me ask you, what will you do if Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren are the candidate? What, what, will, I, what will I do? Personally, I have a party. I think it's too early to discuss that. I'm hopeful. I think there's going to be. All right, we got to run.